Hi, this is Jess with Pride Technology, and I want to show you how to set up a live stream for your students using Google Hangouts Meet. If you want to use Google Hangouts Meet to create a live event for students, you can create that by starting off in Google Calendar. Now, I want to add two elements to my Hangouts Meet. The first element is I want to have a group of two or three people in this Meet who are going to talk back and forth to one another. Each of us will be able to share our screen or lend our voice to the conversation, but only three of us are going to be talking, so only three of us need to be in the meeting. For all of my students, I only want them to be able to watch the event. They're not going to have any opportunity to interact with us uh, verbally. They can ask questions through Google Classroom. They can post their thoughts on a Padlet or another avenue. But during the live stream, I just want them to watch. So here's what I'm going to do. My first step is going to be to click on a date on my calendar where I want this event to take place and we'll give it a name. And if I'm gonna have people tune in to talk and interact on this meeting, I'm gonna add them as guests to this calendar event so they have the link to the proper Hangout. So now I want to add room location or conferencing. We're gonna click here and we're gonna add conferencing. So there's my Hangout Meet. Notice the drop down to the right of that Hangout Meet. I'm gonna click on it and roll up a little bit. I'm gonna add a live stream. So not only will I have a meeting running, but I'll also have a simultaneous live stream. Notice when I clicked on add live stream, I got a new message and it says to invite people to watch the live stream, you have to save this event and create a view only copy. So we're gonna do that in just a second, but I just wanna point out that first we created the calendar event, then we added our guests who are gonna be participating in the conversation, and now we've added the conferencing that's a hangout meet. When we did that, we dropped it down so that we could activate that live stream. So first we have to save the event. It shows up on my calendar right here. I'm gonna reopen that calendar event. I'm gonna click it one time. And now I'm going to click on the pencil to edit the event. And I'm gonna go up here to the top where it says more actions and choose create view only event. That's gonna be the view only event that my students are gonna have access to when they're ready to watch the event happening live. So create the view only event. Now notice it changes the name of the event to live stream and I'm gonna click save. Now I have two events on my calendar. The live stream event is with the link I'm gonna give my students. The live demo, that's what I'm going to give to the other people who will be a part of the conversation, who will be on camera or on screen and participating in live time. So I'm going to be clicking in this event when I'm ready to get started. I'll join the Hangout Meet and I'll get started with the demonstration. But for my students, I want to click on the live stream events and find this web address here. I'll use the copy button and I've copied that web address. Now that's what I'll post in Google Classroom or I can post in Canvas or Schoology or whatever platform I'm using with my students. That's the link that I'm gonna give my kids so that they can click on it, they can access it during the, the live demonstration and they're able to watch what's going on. For more tips like these, be sure to follow us on social media at Fried Technology or at friedtechnology.com.